So a lot of people ask me, Shanali, how do you bind things together? When your diet says, you know, don't use corn flour, uh, don't use, uh, you know, if someone's gluten intolerant, don't use the breadcrumbs unless they are, you know, coming from a green that's gluten free. Um, well, I'm going to show you a technique today uh, to, to bind and I'm going to bind grain and vegetable together. So I'm using, I'm going to make a brown rice croquet. I've got brown rice and I've got sweet potato and I've got carrots. Okay. Now I want to bind this together. So all I'm really doing is taking the brown rice. Uh, just remember when you're going to do this, your brown rice needs to be cooked extra. So you need to add a little more water to your brown rice and you're adding a little bit of potato and you're adding a little carrot for color. Now we're gonna make a croquet out of this. Very simply, just take it all together. You could also saute onions and you could, uh, you know, uh, start onions with carrots, uh, saute it and then add it to your brown rice. But if you look at the croquet eventually, you're gonna see that your binding factor has come from the sweet potato. So even though your rice may be falling apart, the sweet potato is holding it all together. So the sweet potato is really the glue here. It's keeping it all together. So what you're gonna do is, uh, it's a great thing to give kids if you're starting them on brown rice because kids don't like eating brown rice when it's cooked separately. However, if you camouflage it like this, it's like uh, you know getting the brown rice in with all the goodness in there and they don't really know what it is. Uh, once you do this, this is how the croquet looks. It's nice and colorful, as you can see with the carrot and everything. And then I like to roll it in a bit of black sesame seed. So that's actually black sesame seed. And I've used breadcrumbs here. So it's black sesame seed and breadcrumbs. But if you don't want to use breadcrumbs, you don't have to. And this is the final turnout. So this is how it actually looks. So it's got a bit of orange in there and it's got the brown rice in there and it's got your uh, black sesame seeds, which is really nutritious. So there you are, it's a perfect brown rice cutlet.